Hello. We're going to be working with Kramer's rule uh, on two by two matrices. And basically all that means or this entails is I'm going to figure out what my x and my y are on a system of linear equations. Now, if your theory is going to even practicing a system of linear equations, you can do through elimination, graphing, or substitution. Well, we can also do it with matrices. Pretty cool in its own right. So I've got these uh, two equations, these hypotheticals. It, they're not real equations. It's just ax plus by equals e, where there's a number in front of x, there's a number in front of uh, y, and then it's equal to something. And then cx plus dy equals f, where there's a number in front of x, number in front of y, and it's equal to something. It's just basically two equations. So uh, the a would be 5, the b would be 7, the e would be 13, the c would be 2, the d would be negative 5, the f would be 13. And basically what it entails is, if I use this formula right here, if I take the determinant of this over the determinant of this, I'm going to figure out what my x value is. And if I take the determinant of this over the determinant of this, I'm going to figure out what my y value is. There is one stipulation, though. The determinant of a, b, c, d uh, cannot be equal to 0, because if it is, it means that 0 is in the denominator. You can't divide by 0. It's undefined. Kramer's rule doesn't work in that case. But in this case, it will work, because I checked it out before I uh, you know, put it up there. Obviously, I don't want to make sure. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> Woo. So we're going to figure out the determinant of the first one. So that's the determinant of EBFD. So basically that's 13, 7, and then F and D is 13 and negative 5. And that's going to be over ABCD, which is 5, 7, 2, negative 5. Five, seven, two, negative five, good. And my y value is going to be equal to a e c f. So that's going to be five thirteen. And then it's going to be c and f. C and f are these two, which are two and thirteen. And then it's just going to be over the same determinant as the first one, which is five seven two negative five. And there you go. You figure it out through multiplication, division, all that other good stuff. I wish I knew what it was off the top of my head. 13 times 5 is 50, negative 65. Woo! So it's negative 65. Subtracted by 13 times 7, that's 70 plus 21, that's negative 91. Over 5 times 5 is negative 25. Subtracted by 2 times 14, 2 times 7, which is 14. I try to figure that one out while I'm writing this next one. Uh, same thing here. 5 times 13 instead of negative 65 is 65. And 2 times 13 is 26. Oof, at least that one's easy. And that's over negative 25 minus 14. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you. If I am, just pause it. Go ahead and check it out. That's uh, negative 156. over negative 39, yes, negative divided by negative is positive, 156 divided by 39 is 4, and this one is 65 minus 26, which is 45, which is 39, let me double check that, 39, negative 25 subtracted by 14 is negative 39, Positive divided by negative is negative. 39 divided by 39 is 1. Those are my answers. So basically, my x is 4, and my y is negative 1. This is the only solution that's true. This is where both equations will cross. If you don't believe me, go ahead and plug it in, or substitute it in. Uh, 20 plus negative 7 is 13, that's true. 8 subtracted by 5, negative 5, is 13, yeah, so it's 8 plus 5, which is 13. Starting checks out. So that's how you figure out a 2 by 2 matrix um, with Kramer's rule. Some people are going to say, oh, that's just a waste of time. Yeah, I probably use elimination or substitution myself, most likely elimination. I agree that it's a very long way to do it, but you know, it's pretty cool, uh, especially when you start doing linear programming. That's really fascinating. And I'll get to that you know, sooner or later. Yeah, that's... Uh
That's it for now. Take it easy. Bye.